Hello, welcome to our channel We Learn Hindu. If you are new to this channel, please like and subscribe for more videos. In this video, we are going to look at moment over force and its application in finding the equation of the line of action resultant force. So, what is the moment over force? Given a rod of length L being supported at one end by a string of vegetation T and at an angle theta and pivoting at the other end. The moment of this force T about this pivot M would be the product of this force and the perpendicular distance from the line of action of this force to this turning point. So this perpendicular distance is this and you cannot expect this perpendicular distance to be the same because this arm is greater than 90. So this perpendicular distance maybe say if it is x you can see that sine of theta is equal to x out of L. So implying that the perpendicular distance x is L sine of theta. So that means that the moment will be m is equal to t times L sine of theta. Meaning that m is t to L sine of theta. And now how are we going to apply this in finding the line of action of the resultant force? So if you are given resultant components of a resultant force x, and f r y if the perpendicular distances of these two from a given point are x for f r y and y for f r x we can find the moment of these two forces about point O maybe say g is equal to f r y because this perpendicular distance x and is positive because it's anti-clockwise minus fr x multiplied by its perpendicular distance y and is negative because it's clockwise. So the equation of the line of action will be g minus fr y x plus fr x y. So now after learning how to find the equation of the line of action of the resultant force, we are now going to apply to this example. This example says find the equation of the line of action of the resultant force and to find the distance from here where the line of action of the resultant force cuts a b. So now we now give this example. We found the resultant force of this coplanar force system as 17 and 12 and this magnitude was 20.81 newtons and it was acting at an angle of 35.2 degrees to the horizontal. So now in order to find the equation of the line of action of this force, we need to find G, which is the sum of the moments of these forces about A. So we shall have for the 13 newton force, so G will be equal to for the 13 newton force it is passing through the point A, so its moment is zero. That's the 6 newton force was small meter zero and the 30 newton force. So we shall have only the 20 newton force with a moment. So the moment will be the magnitude of the force which is 20 and this perpendicular distance from A, which is 3 meters. And this positive since it's anti-clockwise. So we shall have 20 multiplied by 10 is equal to 60 newton meters. And now since we have our Certain force in the x and certain force in the y should come to an equation and say 60 minus fr y which is 12 plus, plus fr x which is 17 plus y is equal to 0. So now this is our equation of the line of action for a certain force. Now to find where it cuts AB, AB is a longer x-axis of this particle here. So to find where the line of action of the resultant force cuts AB, we shall find the x-intercept of this line of action. And x for the x-intercept, y is equal to 0. So we shall find the point for which y is equal to 0. So from substitute for y is equal to 0 in this equation. Half 60 minus 2x plus 17. Then half 60 is equal to x. That means that x is equal to by 
meters. Thank you.